Hi and welcome to another live time training video. In this video we'll be going over point series, how to set it up and how to look at the results. So right now I'm looking at live time and I've completed two events. Uh, the last couple of Wednesdays I've run a weekly event on 617 and 624 which I can see in the events section here when I just look at it. Each one of these events has qualifiers and mains that have already been fully run and has two different classes in it, a two-wheel drive buggy and a four-wheel drive buggy. So now I want to take these results and I want to create a point series out of it. I'll add these two events, but I also want to set it up so that in the future I can add additional events that I'll be running until August. So I'm going to go to the series section here in live time first. If you don't have any point series already selected, it's immediately going to ask you to create one. So I'll create one here and just name it point series four training video. Additionally, I'll be able to select the type. Right now the only option is local point series. We're looking to add more of these in the, more types in the future, so stay tuned for that. Uh, the next thing it asks me for is the start and end date for the series. This is important because I'm only going to be able to bring in events that happen within the date range I select here. So my first point series event started um, on 6-17. That was the first Wednesday that I started doing point series items and I'm planning on taking this into August so uh, my last event will be on the 26th. So I'm setting this up for the future so that as I create additional events and complete them I'll be able to see it and bring it into this point series when they're done. Finally the tiebreaker rule here best position total I'll just leave that here as well and I'll hit save. Once I do that I'm actually able to go into the detail of the point series and set up how all the points are going to work. I'll start by looking on the right hand side here where I'm able to give points based on uh, how people uh, finished in the event uh, per race class. So right now it's I get 100 points for first, uh, I get three points from between first and second, two points between second and third, and then one point on down and the last position that I award points for is position 50. And on the right hand side here I see a nice little grid that shows all of those uh, points in order. Now if I want to adjust this, so like maybe I don't want to give uh, first place so many additional points above second, I can select one here, I can change this, and as I change the values here you'll notice the grid changes to give you a full listing of all the point values that will be given. If I want to give the top person 50 points instead of 100, I can change that here as well. You'll notice that it just changes as I type. If I don't want to award 50 people, maybe I only want to award the top 10, I can do that here too, and you'll notice the grid changes to show I'll only give 10 and how many points I'll actually be giving. So you can play with this and adjust as you like. I'm going to change these back to the default values. And there we go. Additionally, not shown in the grid, but it will be shown when I look at the results, I can give a b amount of bonus points for top qualifier. I can also give a bonus point or, or points to have any value for every lap that I get while I'm in first place, second place, and then even just the amount of points I want to give for just being able to do a lap in the, in the finals. So all this gets set up here and will affect once I run the results. Once I have that set up on the right hand side, I can kind of focus here on the left. Uh, the first section here is how many uh, drops I want to have. Uh, so I can say, hey, drop the lowest X amount of event points as I go. I can also say, hey, if that driver only showed up for maybe one week or a couple of weeks, um, I just don't want them to show up at all. They have to at least have run in this point series, you know, two times, three times, etc. Uh, obviously a point series is a way to try to encourage drivers to continue to come to the track every week so you want to award those uh, that have been loyal and come multiple times so this is a way of filtering out the guys that maybe only show up once or twice but not no more. Once that's set, uh, now I get to actually select the events that I want to be in this point series. Uh, note that you can actually select events from a number of different tracks. So if you run live time on a laptop and sometimes you go outside and sometimes you come inside and, and you have different tracks set up for that, you can go between tracks to uh, combine them together for point series. So here are the events that at my test track. These are the two, the 17 and the 24th that I 
uh, noticed earlier when I went to the event section. So I'll select the 17th and I'll add that. And I'll also select the 24th and I'll add that as well. So all the, I, the events here listed in this grid, these are the ones that are all gonna be taken on when I do my point series results. Every time I create a new event and complete it, I'll need to go back into the point series and add that event to this running list uh, before I click the results tab so that it gets counted as part of the results. Okay, so now I'm all set. I have my points set up here about how they're going to work. I have the drops and what I'm gonna filter out. I've selected my events. And so what I should just be able to do now is click the results tab and the system will go ahead and calculate all the point results. So first on, on the left hand side, here are all of my entries across all the race classes. And I can click any one of these columns and sort it if I'd like. It tells me uh, what uh, position I am based on my point values, um, the name, the amount of events finished, and the total points. But as I click each one of these, I get more detailed information on the right hand side. So I can see, for example, that when I click on Brandon's name, when I go over to the right hand side, I can say, you know, what events did he run the two wheel drive buggy in? What position did he end up? Uh, there's a little check uh, X here to show that he got TQ once, so that obviously going to give him some points. How many laps did you do in each position uh, and total points. We also will mark dropped here if uh, it's one of the races that gets dropped. So you can, you can further see uh, all the things he was involved in and what's the lowest ones that got not taken into account. So uh, once this is ready, I can view or print the results as well if you'd like to post them. So I'll hit view results here. and. I'll Okay, so now I'm looking at the results, and the results here show each of the names, um, the amount of TQs, uh, and then it shows a point total per event, and you can see the date 617, 624, and these will add up. You'll also notice an asterisk next to the um, people who got TQs in each one of those events. All the details about the series is shown above. So that's it. That should be able to get you started in running point series. Uh, feel free to watch other videos, ask questions if you have them, and thanks for watching.